Okay, great. So thanks, Bob. This is session 12, Sonos integration. Take it away. Okay. All right. So this is the last of the three integration uh, webinars that we've done in the 15 for 15. We did the Alexa integration. We did the Sonos integration. I'm sorry, Google Home integration. And this is the Sonos integration. This is the easiest of the three uh, because we're not dealing with voice. We're just dealing with uh, integrating to Sonos. And Sonos has been around for a while and it's been uh, available in integrating into Lutron systems for quite a while. So it should be pretty easy. I, I developed these uh, presentations based on the fact that there could be somebody that doesn't know what Sonos is. I find it hard to believe, but there still are. Um, or people who have never used Sonos before. So there's a couple slides in here that are very, very elementary, but then I go into integration with Sonos, using Sonos, how to make Sonos work with Lutron, and then the integration side of uh, integrating with um, I focus this one, this one on Caseta and RAW 2 Select, mostly RAW 2 Select, but Caseta is both the same. And the basic principles apply across uh, Radio RAW 2 and Homeworks as well. So um, it's um, going to not change a whole lot based on uh, whether you're using, what system you're using. So agenda, what is stream music? Uh, the Radio RAW 2 Select works with Sonos. I'll talk about that a little bit. Setting it up with Sonos, the four easy steps, the My, My Sonos favorites. Uh, Caseta and RAW2 integration with Sonos, uh, Audio Pico, what it is, the benefits of it, uh, how to link the Audio Pico to your Sonos speaker, and then I touch on the favorite Lutron app favorites and the phone widgets because it makes it real easy to integrate if you're using the phone uh, to a Sonos as well to from the Lutron app or just from your app on your phone. Uh, so starting off, uh, what is streaming media? Streaming media has been out for a while, but streaming media is a multimedia uh, is, is multimedia that is delivered and consumed in a continuous manner from a source with little or no intermediate storage in the network elements. Uh, is streaming refers to the delivery method of content rather than the content itself. Sonos is one of the original streaming media uh, providers out there, and it's uh, really um, is the one of the main avenues, one of the main portals but we get a lot of our streaming content from uh, places like Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music, et cetera, et cetera. And I'll touch on those in just a second. But Radio Raw 2 works with Sonos. So your Sonos system, the I'm gonna talk about the benefits of integration with the Raw 2 Select and my Sonos. But Sonos figured out many years ago that uh, going through a phone and navigating to the app on the phone, navigating to your a particular uh, playlist, um, hitting play, et cetera, uh, was a little bit of a, uh, not a cumbersome process, but certainly a process, okay? And so, so Sonos started uh, integrating with devices out there like uh, Lutron's uh, Pico uh, from their lighting systems. There's a couple of other devices out there where you could hit a button or say a favorites button and Sonos would begin playing uh, where you didn't have to actually go into your phone and navigate. Most people that use Sonos use it and have about four or five favorite playlists or four or five favorite radio stations, however you want to refer to them as, and they don't go much beyond that. Every now and then you have super users that might have different genres they listen to by day of the week. You know, their genre could be a lot different on Monday than it is on Friday or on Saturday night. But for the most part, most people have only a handful of genres or only a handful of radio stations or playlists, playlists that they use. So therefore having quick access with say the center button right there on that Pico audio device is a very handy way to get to their music or their content in a timely manner, as well as a fast manner too. Not everybody likes navigating uh, smartphones. And I'm gonna talk about the four easy steps or the ways the four easy steps necessary to get going. So this is the Audio Pico. Um, it is basically a Pico, just like you're familiar with Picos on other systems, on the other lighting control systems at Lutron. But the center button and the top and bottom buttons acted differently than if they were, if it's been used, being used for lights. So I'll talk about how this, fun, this Pico functions in a minute. But the benefits, as I said, are you get direct access to your Sonos favorites. And then you can scroll through all of your favorites. You press it once, you go to the first favorite, you press it again, goes to the second favorite, and so on and so on. Um, and then it gives you the ability to raise and lower volume and fast forward and stop, pause, and play. 
So what do you need? First of all, you need a Radio Raw 2 Select System. That could also be a Radio Raw 2 uh, system itself, a homework system, or a Caseta system. You need the Lutron app, uh, and it does work with either the app, Lutron app, or the Lutron Connect app. Um, you need a Sonos home system setup. Um, the Sonos app is going to allow you to create your favorites on your My Sonos, and I'll show you that in a second. And then the Radio Raw 2 or the Lutron app is going to allow you to interface uh, with the specific room and the specific Sonos device that you want to control. You could have multiples of these Sonos Pico, Audio Picos throughout your house. You could have one in every room that has a Pico. And as I didn't mention before, you could have it right there on the wall, right next to a dimmer. And I know that's not the Sonos Pico or the, the Audio Pico, but imagine if that were the Audio Pico right there in a dual gang uh, application where you could have a Lutron keypad or another Lutron Pico that's controlling lights right next to the location where you might have Audio Pico that's controlling the sound as you walk into the room. By the way, you can also assign a Lutron, I mean, a Sonos uh, favorites to a specific, uh, for example, like Radio Raw 2 button, where when you hit that button, I call this the very white, the very white scene. When you hit that button, your lights could drop down or turn on to low light levels if you were, if they were not on before. Your shades could close. You could have other devices activate through simple contact closures, and you could have your very, very white uh, uh, music begin to play as you walk in the room. Uh, some very cool stuff. Uh, anyways, that's that's a possibility. Uh, again, so those are your four things you need. Now, number one, install your Radio Raw 2 system, connect it to your Wi-Fi. Of course, you need to have a home network and Wi-Fi in your house, uh, and then download your Lutron app. Number two, install your Lutron, install your, install your Sonos home sound system, and set it up with your smartphone, and we'll talk about that in just a minute as well, too. Um, number three, add your Sonos home system to your Radio Raw 2 select system by using the Radio Raw 2, I'm sorry, this, the uh, Lutron app. Uh, I've got screenshots on that. And then number four, pair your speakers uh, with the Pico remote for scenes using the Lutron app. Uh, by the way, that, that website down at the bottom there, lutron.com forward slash Radio Raw, a Raw 2 integration, it's kind of like an infomercial. I'm not gonna give you a whole lot of technical information, it just tells you what's possible with Raw 2 Select. So first of all, I'm going to start on the Sonos side. I'm going to start by adding your favorite scenes to your Sonos system. Assuming you already have your Sonos system uh, up and running, um, you would click on your browse button right there. And you can see those are all of the devices. I'm sorry, those are all the sources that I have loaded on my phone already. So I have an iHeartRadio. I have a, a music library that's connected to my iTunes library. I have my Sonos radio, which they added for me. Uh, Pandora, iHeartRadio, SiriusXM, Spotify. Um, and there's a few other, I think I have title under there as well too. But I'm just gonna select uh, the Pandora and you can see right over here, it goes to my, to my Pandora and where I can select my stations. Um, these are all of the things you can, you can add. I just mentioned all those, those are just the fancy logos that you can see. When I get to my stations, uh, I click on the station that I want, like Keith Urban Radio. By the way, you'll see country radio. I'm a country radio uh, fan. So I listen to a number of country radio uh, sources. Uh, but as I click on the Keith Urban, um, I'm going to uh, uh, choose to add it or more to add it to my uh, Sonos favorites or my Sonos. And once it's done there, you can see I have in my stations right now on the, on the right, um, a radio station in Sacramento, um, a Spotify, I'm sorry, a Sirius XM station, and a couple of Pandora stations right there. Um, so I've now added that to my uh, Sonos app. So those are all my favorites. When I click that, click that center button on my Pico, it's gonna start out with my local radio station of 105.1. Even if I am out of Sacramento and nowhere near that radio station, I can listen to that station over my uh, Sonos or over my phone. Uh, I'm going to then go into in, uh, integrating my Audio Pico with my Radio Rock 2 system. Uh, I basically add this, if you remember the past couple of uh, um, sessions, I was using my Radio Rock 2 Select little demo kit and I've added everything into my demo kit. But what I didn't have before is I didn't have audio Pico. So I'm going to add that into my system now. Um, you go in, do the drop down gear wheel right there um, and then add device. So just like any, add any, any other device, it's going to go out there. I'm going to click on the Pico remote for audio. You see that the third one down, click on that guy. It's going to do exact same thing we did before, which is 
press and hold that uh, lower button on the, uh, on the Pico for 10 seconds. And then it's gonna jump me over to which room Same room where your where your uh, Sonos device is. Not that it doesn't matter if you walk around the house with this Pico uh, and you're in a different room. It's going to always start uh, whatever Sonos device you've selected. On the right side is where all the Sonos devices that I have in my home. So I've got the back patio, front patio, front family room, backyard, uh, living room, and the office. The office happens to be right here next to me, which I have a Sonos Play One. And by the way, let me make a comment here. This is the original Sonos gear. It is not the new S2 uh, gear, but the functionality or the uh, activating on your device is roughly the same. Uh, a couple of minor tweaks, but it's roughly the same. So on the second, second slide here on the right, I have chosen that my Sonos device is the one that I wanna control in the office with my, with my audio Pico that's going to reside in the office. So once I'm there, then I click done. And now I'm uh, all done as far as uh, the, uh, um, the add in the device. Now, how a Sonos or an Audio Pico works, pretty simple. You press the favorite button in the middle. It's going to bring up, even if there's nothing going on, it's going to bring up your Bob, you there? Is anybody else having a hard time hearing him? Yeah, I heard him drop off. Did you drop off? Yeah, are you back? Yeah. You dropped off about uh, 30 seconds ago. Okay, so let me back up. Uh, did I, I got to this slide here? Looks good. Can you hear me right there? Perfect. If you could start over. Yeah. Right there. there? Yep. Okay. So this is, this is adding your, uh, uh, audio Pico to your radio raw to select system. Uh, you would add, just like you add, added any other devices, uh, you click on the gear wheel at the very top and then click on the add device. Uh, and that, and from when you get there, then you're going to choose the, the Pico remote for audio, uh, which is the device that we're going to add. You press and hold the bottom button for 10 seconds, just like you did on any other uh, devices you were adding to raw to select. Click and hold it for 10 seconds. And then it's going to bring up the screen that asks you which room you want to put that device in. You generally want to put that device in the same room where your Sonos device is going to reside. So I click on the office and then the next screen here is going to show me all of my Sonos devices that I have in the house here. So back patio, front patio, family room, backyard, living room, office. I click on the office. Uh, and then I'm done. My system is now set up with my favorites uh, and my device connected to the Office uh, Play One that's sitting right here next to me. Um, and then controlling the controlling the, the uh, uh, Sonos, basically the button in the middle is my favorites. It's going to start my favorites or it's going to click to my next favorite stream. It will go from my, uh, my FM radio station to my Sirius XM. Um, and then the top button gives me the ability to play and pause. If I, have a, if I have something going, it's going to pause that stream. And then say I take a phone call and then I hit that again to play it, it's gonna begin playing that same stream again. Obviously the raise and lower are for your volume. Um, and the bottom line, the bottom one is for next track. If you're playing like a Sonos or a Spotify playlist, um, it'll, uh, it'll advance to the next track. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty simple. You do also have the ability uh, in your, uh, for example, like Lutron app, you can create favorite apps or quick access within the app. When you create that quick access within the app, you can also add that scene or that quick access within the app to a widget on your phone. So at, at the very first page on most phones, and I'm more familiar with the iPhone than I am with the Android, but on most phones, the very front page or your main page that the, that the phone goes to when you open it, if you swipe uh, right, it'll take you to a page that allows you to see quick widgets, okay? 
or allow you to see the weather or the stock market or whatever. And that's where you can access quick widget devices, which is where your widget or your instant access for that, uh, for that uh, um, uh, Sonos player to go. Again, it has to be tied to, in this case, has to be tied to the, to the Sonos uh, uh, player that's in the office, uh, as well as the uh, as well as the device. Okay, any questions at all? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, will you have the slides available? Uh, we'll be posting the video. Uh, I can make the slide. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, Suzanne. We'll be posting the video of this and the slides will be available in a library. Yes, yes. Okay, any questions at all on this? I am not seeing any in the- Cool, um, if you do, you can always- I have a question. So if you yeah, have- that doesn't surprise me. This is a pretty simple, this is a pretty simple one. So I have a question. Go ahead. Does it, does it play the same thing in every room or can yeah. you, or can you play different things in different rooms at the same time? Um, you can you can assign it. I believe you can assign it the one Pico to play, uh, say like the office and the living room together, uh, but only if you've assigned it in the way you set it up. Okay, you can add multiples of these Picos into like you could have a Pico, in, an audio Pico in, in every room, and each would have independent control of what's played in that room. Correct. And, and, and volume control was played in that room. Okay, good. I don't want my teenager choosing my music. No, 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 no. That's, that's very important. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> any other questions? I don't see any in the- Okay, um, the only other thing I want to mention on here. I'm sorry? I don't see any in the text bar. Okay, no. great. Only other thing I want to mention on here, the next Lutron Essential Shade is, is going to be November 1st and 2nd. Um, that's important because that's a category that everybody should get into. Um, and then there is a Radio Raw 2 Level 1 virtual training coming up on September 20th to the 23rd. And that email should be out pretty soon on registration uh, for that. And that's my story. Thank you, Bob. Really appreciate it. Thanks, for everybody, for attending. Um, we will be uh, sending out a reminder about the next um, 15 for 15. And again, after our 15 is complete, the first run at it, we will be changing these to Tuesdays, 7.30 a.m. or 4 p.m. Um, thanks, everybody, for attending. And we will let Bye. you know also when we have the slide decks in the library and links to the downloaded recordings of these 15-minute trainings. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, Susanna. Thanks, Bob. Bye. Thank you. Bye.